Folks, as you may or may not know, uh, all NBC shows, any show that you see on NBC is actually broadcast in most areas by a local television station known as an affiliate. I think most people have heard of the affiliates. Right, right. They're all over the country, and the owners of these affiliates, the guys that run them, are always sending me notes and letters with their suggestions about how they'd like to change the show, or maybe how the show would do a little bit better in sure. their area. Now, these uh, local station owners, they wield a lot of power. Sure, they can pull our show off whenever they want. Yeah, they've tried many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they have no option. <laughs> And, uh, and tonight, you know, I've thought, we've got to make these local station owners happy. Okay. We've got to do our best. So let's do it all in one night. <coughs> tonight, I decided we'll, uh, we'll take a little bit of time. I've got their letters and suggestions right here. And we'll respond to all of them all at once in a little segment we're proud to call Pleasing the Affiliates. Now, our first suggestion, uh, this one right here, it's interesting, it comes from KJLS, which is our affiliate in San Jose, California. And uh, it's interesting, they feel the show is too male-oriented. And they say they want to see, quote, more female faces on the show in significant roles. And, you know, I got this letter and I thought, that's, that's fair, our show is pretty, you know, it's pretty male. There's yeah. me, there's, there's you, you're all man. Oh, totally. Uh, <laughs> I'm half man, you're all man. There's the, uh, there's the band, that's band. a manly band. There's even our, even our prop master, Bobby Bowman, who's always standing by. Those are the, those are the faces you usually see, and it's yeah. just, there's just a lot of testosterone mm -hmm. coming through the TV screen. But um, I want to say this right now to the affiliate. You should know that behind the scenes, behind the scenes, our show is primarily run by women. For example, their stage manager, Maureen Smith. She's a beautiful girl. Really like her. There's a uh, talent executive, Paula Davis, from the Deep South. Isn't Paula Davis a pretty girl? Of course, there's our director, Liz Planka. Everyone loves Liz. So, get off our ass, San Jose. We showed them, huh? Yeah. Now, our affiliate in, uh, in Birmingham, Alabama, wrote to us to complain that we're losing viewers at the end of our show. At right like, at the very end. Like, yeah, around 1.35, you know, at the very end of the show, we're losing some viewers, and we need to do more in their area to spice up the closing moments to of the show. keep them watching until the very end. Exactly. Something exciting. Well, good news, Birmingham. Last night, we here at the show initiated our special end-of-the-show lottery. It's a real attention-getting. It got us some great ratings. Take a look. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight, and it's time for our end-of-the-show lottery. Isn't this cool? Tonight's lucky audience member is in row 11, seat L. Row 11, seat L. That's me! Yeah, that's you, sir! That's great! And let's see, you're going to be murdered <laughs> by the what? person sitting in row J, seat 14. audience just love that yeah. one. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, I love that. She wasted no yeah. time. A lot of people come to this show just to mm. do some killing. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> now, uh, next up is our, uh, a letter from our affiliate in Portland, Oregon. And they wonder why we don't show more shots of our studio audience the way that other shows do. Because a lot of shows, they show the studio audience quite a bit. Yeah, picks That's, up the energy. Picks up the thing. energy and people get to pick themselves out. Yeah. Well, there's actually a reason that we don't shoot our audience, and uh, it's true, yeah. Here's a look, here's a look, first of all, at the way we usually shoot the show. Ricky snuck out on uh, Rodman. He wouldn't meet him, and he said, you know, I want to live La Vida Loca, but not that loca. <laughs> That's crossing a Now, here's a clip from that same moment from that same show, this time showing the studio audience. You know, I want to live La Vida Loca, but not that loca. <laughs> That's crossing a... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
That dancing really got you out of the tough spot. <laughs> yeah. I won them over eventually yeah, 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 yeah. with my pity. Mm -hmm. uh, now, here's a note from our Las Vegas affiliate, KNVX. And uh, they have a very interesting request. They want us to feature more Vegas entertainment mainstays like Siegfried and Roy. They thought that would help their station get more attention. Sure. So uh, here goes. From now on on the show, whenever we switch shots from me to Andy, we'll do it using our special Siegfried and Roy switcher graphic. Siegfried, Roy, Siegfried, Roy, Siegfried. We got to market those for automobiles, the back window. That, <laughs> you know, that would be you, great. You go over a pothole or a bump and see, please, Roy. We would make no money, but I'd be proud. Mm. Right. Here's a note from our affiliate in Dover, Delaware. They would, um, don't do that, that's sad. Uh, <laughs> affiliate in Dover, Delaware would like us, they'd like to see us do anything about Delaware. Just anything at all, because they don't feel, they don't feel this. They don't feel the state gets enough attention. You never hear about attention. Delaware. Aside yeah. from that woman, no yeah. attention to that state. So, uh, so we're going to do that. Here now is a brand new character. His name is Awareness Dell, the guy who makes people aware of Delaware. I'm Awareness Dell. This here's Delhi. We're going to learn all about Delaware. What do you say, Delhi? Let's go! He's Awareness Dell. thing to admit I could watch that all night absolutely <laughs> I know that's a sad no, statement about my life of people yeah uh, well this is an interesting one Florida of course is the citrus capital of the country and our affiliate in Pompano Beach Florida would like to see more pieces on the show featuring oranges because they want to help the orange industry mm. and uh, you know this is kind of an unusual request but but you're in luck Pompano Beach we found this ultra rare example of classic orange porn. Take a look. This stupid machine, it never seems to work. Excuse me. Maybe I can help. seen a lot of orange porn. Mm -hmm. That was the best. That is a good one. Finally, last thing uh, we'll do tonight uh, in this segment of the show, our affiliate in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, that's right, home of the Kentucky Derby, would like to see more pieces for and about jockeys. Well, here you go, Louisville. It's late night jockey dance party. <laughs> Deke and the Demons. Hey, jockeys, let's gather around, huh? <laughs> now, gang, let's get some names and heights. Uh, hi, name and height? I'm Jan Conway, and I'm 5'3". Okay, terrific. Name and height? Mike Super, 5'3". All 
right, and how about you? Derek McGinty, 5-1. Okay, <laughs> that's great. All right, hey, is this a brand new riding silk? Yeah. Did you uh, get that specifically for this show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific, all right. Hey, what did you guys think of that last song? Did you like it? Well, it has a good beat. It's easy to dance to. <laughs> Would you go out and buy the record? Definitely. <laughs> All right. What do you say, jockeys? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with Kevin Spacey. Let's dig it, jockeys, dig it!